Well, hello there, you beautiful and amazing people. I am some guy called Aaron, and welcome to the channel. Now, it appears this story has been picking up a lot of steam. And if you are unaware of it, Neil Young is uh, no longer a protesting hippie. He is part of the machine now and has gone full on drinking the Kool-Aid pointing a gun to everyone that disagrees with him and saying, you will fucking do what I tell you to. Everybody knows you never go full retard. Yeah. Yeah. He was a guy that was standing up for rights, free speech, and now he is standing up for the machine. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. But, as it says here in the BBC, Neil Young wants to quit Spotify over Joe Rogan vaccine misinformation. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't understand this. He had the guy that created the RNA poke to save people and for 40 years it was fine and now it's not fine I am going to go in so there and I am going to take you your fucking no, no, fuck off oh, now fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ oh, you know what you've hurt yourself I've got so, so much on as it is <laughs> Yeah, so Neil Young is a bit pissed off with it. Now, I ask you, uh, I hear you asking, who the fuck is Neil Young? Do you know what they think about you? Oh, I'm sure you're going to tell me, Malcolm. But I'll, I'll tell you exactly what people say about you. Oh, all right, go on then. Fuck all! Oh, do they? Fuck all! People get no fucking opinion about you. You're like fucking Special K or fucking the Moody Blues. Neil Young was part of that sort of hippie movement protesting, writing those songs to fight the fucking fascists. Ironically, now he is a fascist. <laughs> he demands full-blown fascism. You comply or you die, is what he is now saying. Now, he was in Crosby, Stills and Nash when it was Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. And... Yeah, thankfully he got booted and left. But the one song that you will recognise from him is Rocking in the Free World. Ironically, he wrote that. Dirty bastard. Dirty stinking bastard. Dirty low order stinking bastard. Dirty low order hoaching stinking bastard. <laughs> Keep on rocking in the free world. It was written by Neil Young. Yeah. I mean, you can't write this shit. He's demanding that you follow the machine, follow this full on totalitarianism. If you criticize the government, you go to the gulag. Is his opinion. But it appears Spotify went, nah. And they got rid of him. They're... And according to this communist newspaper, yes, The Independent is fucking trash. That's why I'm using their source. How dare you! They say there is a backlash growing against Spotify. No, there's not. No, there is not. Everyone agrees with Joe Rogan. You should be able to question everyone. You have to have a conversation about everyone. I've done many a video on free speech. And you have to have free speech to talk about whatever you want. But here we are. Uh, Neil Young has been punted. Now, you have to understand that Neil Young gets 6 million monthly listeners. Joe Rogan gets 11 million listeners an episode he does what five episodes a week six episodes a week yeah 
one episode does more than what he does in a month. So you understand why Spotify is like, yeah, we need free speech. This is a good thing. This is a good thing. Well done to Spotify. Applaud for you. That is a fucking bold move. And I love it. I love it. But it appears that there is something that doesn't smell right. There is some bullshit in the air. And coming from Michael Malice, there is a majority ownership in Neil Young's music. His music is by a group called Hypognosis. Hypognosis is owned by the Blackstone Group. The Blackstone is partnered with a, a whatever that word is. No, no, Ralph. This means you're failing English. Me fail English? That's impossible. Alanim pharmaceuticals and works primarily in biotechnology it keeps on rocking in the free world though yeah yeah so it turns out neil young is full of shit doesn't care about your rights is no longer a hippie probably never was a hippie got on that bandwagon to go yeah i want to make a few fucking mill uh he is a liar he is scum and yeah i hope he loses fucking everything because he is a liar does not want us to have rights quite clearly you cannot disagree with the government is his opinion that is complete totalitarianism Leninism, communism, Stalinism, whatever kind of ist-ism you want to call it. That is just complete authoritarian. So, yeah. Fuck Neil Young. And it is so good to see that Spotify went. Free speech, crazy old guy that's bought and paid for. Mm. We'll, we'll pick the free speech. We'll, we'll pick the one that's on the side of the right. The, you know, the, the side of the people. The, the side that wants to talk about stuff. And this just sums up everything to do with this crazy man. And yet, wholeheartedly agree, when you're so woke, you cancel yourself. Darling, I wouldn't fucking piss on you if you were fucking allergic to piss, right? So, as always... Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. And fuck Neil Young. I hope he loses everything. All his record here and his millions. Just fuck him. And as always, people, stay awesome. <laughs>